So hi guys, this is Birdie Channel and today I'm doing my reaction to Dickinson Season 3 Episode 4 and Episode 4 is called This is a Letter to the World So I'm really excited to get into this uh, Last episode the father was feeling much better The baby is there, it just doesn't have a name yet uh, Henry went to the front uh, like the front of the battle and then we had the sewing circle, which was fun and everything. And then at the end, Emily wrote uh, to, I think it was a poet, I think Iginson, I think his name was, I can't remember. But I'm really excited to get into this, so as always, you can like and subscribe, and we're gonna get right into this, so let's go. Like everybody is like ex exchanging letters and everything. They're sending, other receiving. I enclose my name, asking you, if you please, sir, to tell me what is true. Excuse me, Colonel Higginson. Yeah, Higginson. Organizes and commands a successful black regiment will perform the most important service in the history of this war. That these men are as brave as disciplined and as learned as any white soldiers. I see. Damn it! Yeah. There I go, centering whiteness again. S sorry, what's the job? I want you to teach the formerly enslaved men of the first South Carolina volunteers to read and write. And we are gonna win this war. <laughs> it's judgment day! They're like, who are you? Why does he talk like that? My dude, what is that accent? Teach you the crucial skills of literacy? You gonna help us get some clean uniform? Like, there are things more important to them than knowing how to write and read. They're not paying you? Man, they pay us dust. Well, they do feed us so dust and grits. They said it's proper training. They won't even let us touch a gun. All we down there. Where are you going? I have a date. Somebody you definitely wouldn't approve of. I celebrate myself. I sing myself. She's like in a hospital for warriors. Oh, hi, I'm looking for Walt Whitman. Oh, well, then it's your lucky day. Because I am Walt Whitman. Oh. I am the rattlesnake, the alligator, the panther, the... He's extra. Love the, like, jazz music in the back. I'm here. This is why I came to see you. Mr. Whitman, I'm a poet. Oh, a poet. To go out into the world and confront its pain. Oh, so you're into pain, huh? Um, yeah. Pain is everywhere! Yeah, it is inside... Well, at least, well, she doesn't know, but we know that Henry is all right, so. In God's name, did you forget to do the laundry this week? How dare you suggest that I would ever forget that, Edward? You know I live for laundry day. Maggie! Hey! That's one way to put the blame on someone. You are not just Emily Dickinson. You are everyone. You just ask the wounded person how he feels. You yourself must become the wounded person. Sure. Are you America? Yeah, I think so. Yes! Yes, you are! And so am I! And so is she! And so is he! Man, he would give me, like, he would for sure give me a headache with how much he's talking. Every man here is dying of multiple causes! Gangrene! So you know her? This is Louisa May Alcott. It's so good to see you here on the... I don't know who Louisa is. Oh. Ah, he's gone! He died in your arms! Oh. I am your father. And I am your son and your mother. It takes it a little bit too far. <laughs> yeah. Life for the union. Give him a smooch. Eh. Oh, fuck. Like you never saw two men embrace on your dad's commune. Oh, Boston, keep it down, please. Okay. You wake him up. By looking at him, he's a Dickinson. You doubted that? Yeah, you did. I had a little nut. Austin, please stop singing. You will wake him up. 
Please, he's sleeping. King. Let's go. She's living in this house, Mrs. Dickinson. Oh. Oh. Ah! Monster! I was infested with fleas. Ah. Please. Anyone seen Emily? <laughs> Emily's having fun. So, tell me, Emily Dickinson, what turns you on? Oh, I do. Sue. Oh, stop thinking. Stop thinking. Just say it. Say it right now. Hey, it's Sue. You're... Okay, she's she's sort of my friend, right? She's mm. she's also sort of my lover. Yeah. Oh, fabulous! Yeah. You cannot let go. Is it with Sue that you interpenetrate? Yeah. yeah. Say it then. Shout it out loud, Zex. I love Sue. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Scream it. I love Sue. Yeah. Okay. And I, I want her, and I can't get enough of her. And if I was on my deathbed right now, all I would want is two. So he's finally reading what she wrote to him. And who's singing this song? Like, you look, they must have had a blast filming this scene. Wow, it's already the end. And like this song is really good, the last song. Like if you guys know like who sings it, that would be really nice to know. But for this episode, I then uh, with seeing Henry uh, that he's going to teach the soldiers how to read and write. But then he learns that they're not getting paid, that they don't have the clothes, they don't have the training to be at war. Which for sure we'll see even more in the next episode, I'm sure of it. Then we had uh, the parents uh, getting like, they keep like scratching everywhere because of fleas that Lavinia brought into the home because she slept in the barn because of all the ex-boyfriend that are buried. Like I think she's really like taking a dark side to know that every man that she's loved like died. But then also we have Emily who is reading a book, uh, who is reading the book and like she's really into it and then she goes into her imagination i'm guessing to new york in a hospital where the soldiers are treated and like she she's learning everything from the guy i think it was whitman his name if i'm really if i'm not mistaken and like she's learning to feel not think and then she like i love sue which was a really great moment of finally like her saying yes I love her like I want to be with her and everything but this episode is not my favorite but I really enjoyed it like even though uh, for me it was a little bit more slow but I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction as always you can like and subscribe we're gonna see each other next week and as always stay safe outside and hope you have a good day